This week on The Wire, highest gain since 2009, listings decline Australia-wide, and millennials prioritise home ownership. G'day guys, my name's Tim Guest, I'm Australia's leading financial educator and the founder of Infinite Wealth, and welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate, where you can get all the top stories happening this week in finance, real estate, investment, and more. Now please like, comment, share this video, and if it's your first time tuning in, welcome along, and don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. So our top story for this week, highest gain since 2009. So national dwelling values rose 4% on average in the December quarter, making it the most significant gain in Australia's housing market since 2009. Now most capital cities and regional areas finished the year with positive growth. In December, six of the eight capital cities and six of the seven regions recorded growth in their median house prices. The housing value rebound was spurred by a relaxation in borrower serviceability assessments, improved housing affordability, renewed certainty around property taxation policies post the federal election, and lower interest rates, says CoreLogic Head of Research Tim Lawless. While Sydney, Melbourne and Hobart were the standout performers over the last decade, with Sydney topping the list at 67% long-term growth, regional areas have also recorded solid gains. So over the last 10 years, regional Victoria achieved a 35% uplift, followed by regional New South Wales 31% and regional Tassie 24%. Now these growth rates surpassed the rises in Adelaide up 17% and Brisbane up 9%. Now our next story, listings decline Australia-wide. So a sharp decline in property listings at a time when demand is increasing helps to explain why prices are rising. Eskrim Research latest data shows that residential property listings nationwide in December were 12% lower than the year before. And this is despite monthly increases of 2% in October and 6% in November, which are the spring months which typically see an increased sales activity. But all capital cities experienced month-to-month -month decreases in properties for sale in December, with the largest falls occurring in Sydney and Canberra. Now, year-on-year -year listings also show similar declines for all capital cities, with Sydney recording a decline of 30%. The month of December traditionally falls in properties uh, listed for sale as it is the start of the festive and summer holiday period, while November shows a surge as listings uh, in listings as vendors are keen to sell before the holiday season approaches. Now, also the devastating bushfires could also result in further declines in property listings, putting additional pressure on house prices. Now, guys, for our final story of the week, the millennials prioritise home ownership. So home ownership remains of paramount importance for most millennials, according to research by Lender Gateway Bank and mortgage insurance provider Genworth. The survey of over 2,000 millennials aged 23 to 38 across Australia found that 94% rated home ownership as a key objective. With a number of younger Australians vying for a spot on the property ladder, many are looking at getting a start soon. And the study found that two thirds of millennials who don't already own a home are hoping to purchase a property within the next five years. Now, according to the findings, 58% of millennials cited the financial security of home ownership as the most attractive factor for getting into the property market, followed by 48% who stated investment potential as the biggest driver. Almost half of the participants believe that renting is a waste of money. And Gateway Bank CEO Lexi Airy says that it's really pleasing to see millennials striving for home ownership and taking on savings measures in order to achieve this goal. Well guys, that's pretty much it from me today. Now remember to like, comment and share this video and don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you are seeing this. Also, don't forget to stay tuned later in the week for our next Just Ask Tim video series. And if you wanna submit a question or if there's a topic that you'd like me to discuss in more detail, there's a link in the post to do that. Apart from that, guys, have a great week. And remember, there's only one thing in life that makes a difference, and that's action. See ya.